In a previous video, we figured out a way to multiply a two-digit number times a one-digit number. What we did is we broke up the two-digit numbers in terms of its place value. So the three here in the tens place, that's three tens. This is seven ones. So we view 37 sixes as the same thing as 30 sixes, three tens times six, plus seven sixes, seven times six. And then we added those together to get a total of 222. What we'll try in this video is now see what happens if we try to do two digits times two digits. So let's try to tackle 37, 37. Instead of six, let's multiply that times 26. So we're trying to figure out 37 26s is one way to think about it. So pause this video and see if you can tackle that and see if you could maybe use a similar method to what we used before. Well, one way to think about it is you could view this as 37 26s or you could view this as 37 sixes plus 37 twenties. So first we can do the 37 sixes, 37 sixes, which is exactly what we did over here. We said, hey, that's the same thing, and we could do it in either order. We could say, hey, let's first think about 30 sixes. So we're going to multiply 30 times six. 30 sixes is 180. So that right over there is three tens, three tens times six. And then we could think about the seven ones times six. And so that's going to be 42. That's the seven ones times six, or the seven sixes. And then we could do the same thing with the twenties. We could say, hey, what are three tens, what are 30 twenties going to be? So let's write that over here. Or you could say, what are three tens times two tens? Well, that would be six times 10 times 10. So let me write this down. This is three tens times two tens. That's what we're going to do now, times two tens. And that's the same thing as, which is equal to 30 times 20, which is the same thing as three times two times 10 times 10. Well, that's going to be 600. So we could write that here, 600. And just be very clear, we've already thought about 37 sixes. That's these two numbers up here. We have to add that we still have to add them. But now we're thinking about 37 twenties. So first we thought about 30 twenties, which is 600. And now we could think about seven twenties. So seven twenties is going to be seven times two is 14. So seven times 20 is 140. So I'll write that right over here. 140. To be clear, this is seven ones times two tens or seven twenties. And now we can add it all together to get what the total would be. So we, in total we have, and that's why it's useful to have everything stacked by their place value. We can look at the ones place and we say, okay, we only have a total of two ones here, so I'll put a two there. Now let's see, tens, we have eight tens plus four tens is 12 tens, plus another four tens is 16 tens. 16 tens we can also break up as 106 tens. So we could write the six tens here and then put the, that hundred up here. So 100 plus another hundred is 200, plus six hundreds is eight hundreds, plus one more hundred is nine hundreds. And so there you have it. This is equal to 962. I really want you to understand what we just did. It might look a little bit complicated, but first we thought about what is 37 sixes that's where we got these numbers from, and that's what we had done in a previous video. And then we just thought about, well, what is 37 20s going to be? And that's where these numbers came from. And actually, let me write that down. This whole thing that I'm circling in orange, that is 37 sixes. Or let me, yeah, I'll write it, I'll write it as 37 times six. And then this is 37 20s. So 37 times 20. So if it's not obvious, pause the video, or, or after this video, reflect on this, why this works. Try it with other numbers, because if you really understand this, then your multiplication life, and actually your mathematical lives in your future, will only become more and more intuitive.